episode 113 of Dragon Ball Super has arrived and well holy crap it was such an amazing episode especially for three Saiyans uh, I kind of got my prediction wrong even though I never made a discussion video about this but I guess I can talk about it now since I'm doing the video. Now, so, now I've been keeping an eye on Khalifa and Kale for quite some time since they were introduced into the series. And the way Khalifa has been acting in the Tournament of Power every time she fights Goku, she feels like every time Goku shows her a new form, she immediately wants to wants that form. I mean, like, when, when she went to... I mean, when he went Super Saiyan Blue, she went up to him and asked him to become Super Saiyan Blue. And he said, well, you can't become Super Saiyan Blue because you need to come up... Because it takes a long time to become it. So now... So now she wants to become Super Saiyan 3. And so now she wants to become Super Saiyan 3. Even though it took Goku seven years to become Super Saiyan 3... Is she really going to become Super Saiyan 3 within a couple of months? Or maybe within a few episodes? I mean, like, it's only been 22 minutes now. since It's only been up to 22 minutes now. This whole episode took up a minute. One minute. This whole episode took up one minute of Dragon Ball Super. That shows you how long the Tournament of Power has been taking. Now... I was going to say something like, you know, the way Vegeta has been looking up to Kaba, it's like, Kaba is like, well, he's not technically like the Vegeta, but he could be like a, he could be something new, but Vegeta is helping out Kaba, and it looks like, um, Goku has been helping out Khalifla a lot, and I, when I first saw Khalifla, I immediately em envisioned her as like a girl Vegeta, a, a girl version of Vegeta. But she's been training a lot with Goku, and she seems to be acting more like Goku now. She wants to become stronger. She wants to get all these Super Saiyan forms. So, she's kind of becoming a little bit like um, Goku. So, Kaba finally became Super Saiyan 2 in the last episode, only to get eliminated by Frieza. And now... And... And now, uh, sorry about that, I had a bit of a yawn. Uh, and now, uh, Khalifa wants to become Super Saiyan 3, and I, and I don't know, um, I don't know what K Kale is. I don't know if she's Super Saiyan 1 with green hair, or if she's Berserk. Well, we just saw her um, go berserk at the end of the episode because she wants to become stronger at the end of the episode. She said she wanted to get stronger with her sister. I well, I don't think Kay Khalifa really is her sister. Never know. Plot twist. Kale and Ka Ooh, plot twist. They might be his, might be the sisters. But but really, Khalifa said that Kale is just her apprentice or... Or, or some kind of, you know, lackey. That's what she is. So, I wouldn't. So I don't really think they're sisters, by the way. I think she just says the word sis just because, like, Khalifa treats her like a sister. Maybe that's why. Um, this episode was very good. It was very good. It was. They didn't turn their attention to anybody else. It was directly on Goku, Khalifa, and Kale, even though. We didn't see a lot of the Army King. We saw we just saw him pop up a couple of times. Amazing the fight, and and, and I seriously and seriously, I know we know I know we watch Dragon Ball. As fans, we know what's going on, but but when you but when you watch this stuff on TV, and and you see the characters and how they're reacting, and I immediately knew Goku wasn't trying to defeat Goku at all. I knew Goku wasn't trying to defeat Khalifa and Kale, and I knew Khalifa and Kale weren't trying to defeat Goku. Khalifa kind of was, but not really. 
if you know what I mean. Goku is basically trying to train them to become more stronger. That's basically that's basically it. That's basically it. But then you get Beerus and Champa and all of them carrying on like, oh, Goku's gonna lose or something like that. And and you know it, it it's kind of weird and it's really really silly how you know the characters react, but us fans we know what's going on. Like we know K Goku's training Khalifa and Kale. We know he's trying to help them. You know ascend to another levels and i was kind of thinking maybe frieza was going to jump in and you know you know kind of you know ruin it but i think we might see that in the next episode uh don't know yet for sure but 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 it looks like um goku is going to be fighting uh kale solo kale is going to go solo in uh the next episode episode 114 um, I'm actually really looking forward to um, this whole thing, and I'm glad Cleef Light and Kale are back in it because I'm actually, I I think I'm actually should be more happy about Cleef Light because I'm kind of more kind of getting more attracted on her as a fan, but you know, it, it's it's weird because this episode was a very very interesting episode. It, it was the fighting was great, the quality the quality was great, the action was great. Everything was great. Like they're, they're, they're built. They're showing that Khalifa is progressing. She's getting better, and and you, and, and you actually see Kale on the oh Kale. What's his, no, what's his name? Kaba. Kaba. You see Kaba on the outside actually reacting to what's going on, because most because most people you know when they're on the sidelines, you, you don't see other universe people reacting on the outside except for Universe Eleven gods. And you and you see like Universe Seven mostly, interacting like you know talking, on the sidelines, and then you get like you 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 get like the God of Destruction of Universe Eleven talking about how strong G Jiren is and how nobody can beat Jiren, and then now you get Universe Six. You do get a lot of you get you do get a lot of outside talk with Universe Six, which honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. I really don't like Champa. I really don't know. I really don't know why. I just don't like Champa from Universe 6 God of Destruction. There are people out there who do like him. The thing that I don't like about him is that he comes up with... He, he says one thing, and then he in like he tells Khalifa to defeat Goku, which we know she's not. And then Goku starts beating her up, and he's starting to win. And then he's and then he's like, oh, change of plans. Don't try and defeat Goku and ru or run away and something like that, or or change of plans. And then you hear Khalifa yelling, "Shut up!" Because I guess Khalifa just really doesn't want to be ordered around. So, and then and then she starts getting the upper hand on him again, and he's and then then Chopper's like all excited because he thinks you know Khalifa is going to be uh, Goku. And then you get Vados, the female uh, angel, uh, on the outside who. And the angel uh, Vados telling Champa, "Weren't you the one that said you wanted to change plans?" And I feel like saying, "Yeah, exactly." I mean, like you, you change your, you change your mind all the time. You ch he changes his mind all the time. I know it's part of his character because we all know Dragon Ball isn't really real. It's a cartoon show. It's got characters. It's scripted. But as a fan, you you would have to understand maybe some some of the stuff that you see when it comes to the script. It kind of rubs you the wrong way. And, that, and that's how I feel about Champa. He rubs me the wrong way because of his character. And Universe Eleven's God, I'm not sure what his name is, you know, he kind of rub, he kind of rubs me the wrong way as well because he kind of feels like a villain. I mean, he I mean, if you think about it, he kind of does because the way he was talking to Jiren and telling him no more no more holding back, it's time to get serious. I mean, Jiren the way they the, the way they built Jiren up, if I'm going to, like I say, I do like to use wrestling terms to describe certain things. So, Jiren is technically a Brock Lesnar. He's technically a Brock Lesnar of Universe 11. He's a beast. He's strong. He's tough to beat. Like, that. That that's how I envision Jiren. Because he's big and bulky, you know. He, he kind of reminds me a lot of Brock Lesnar. Because... He's powerful, and he's big, and he's strong. So, I don't know. I really do not know, but... I don't... Really, I don't know, but... 
this episode really intrigued, intrigued me. You know, it didn't make me, you know, get out of my chair and go, Oh my god! Or, or freak out and mark out like people do. I just sat there, I enjoyed the episode, and and, and it was it was a fun episode. It was a very fun episode. It was great to see Khalifa finally get some action again. And it was great to see Kale finally feel more confident to actually fight, because she was really, really scared to fight. And now she's becoming more confident. And what makes this even better is that Goku invited her to come in. Like, halfway, halfway into the fight, Kale, Kale, K Goku says, Kale, why don't you come in and join in? I'll, I'll happily, I'll, I'll fight you as well. And, and she happily comes in. She happily comes in. She turns Super Saiyan green because... <laughs> I know, that's a stupid name because... She basically grows green hair when she goes Super Saiyan. So that's why I called it Super Saiyan Green. She's technically a Super Saiyan 1 with green hair. But I think Super Saiyan Green, for me, is kind of a kind of the name. Because she's got green aura, like Broly. And, and then she unleashes her inner Broly at the, end, at the end of the episode. But the question is, is she going to be able to control it? Which is the question. So... What about the episode preview? Well, the uh, episode I watched didn't have the episode preview at the end. So maybe I'll have to go and watch the episode preview and uh, get my thoughts on it. So, um, as for my discussion, I was going to make a discussion about could Khalifa potentially be the uh, female Goku of Universe 6? Um... And maybe Kale could be a Gohan, and Kaba could be a Vegeta. But Kaba really isn't really all that aggressive, though. I think Khalifa feels more aggressive when it comes to the same, because she has called Goku a bastard or a cocky bastard a couple of times when they were fighting. But bastard, the word bastard is very well common in Japan. So, you know, at least they're allowed to drop the B word, bastard, in an episode, but... But hey, that's my thoughts on the episode. I think this episode gets a 5 star rating. This was a very good episode. I enjoyed it. And let me know down below on what you thought of the episode. And I might be able to try and get some more videos out. Sorry I've been pretty lazy on the videos. I think maybe it's because I just really ain't really feeling interested in doing any. Or may And also we've got some family dramas going on. But that that's... That's something else to talk about. That's just really none of my... This is really... Family business doesn't involve YouTube. So... I hope you guys understand my lack of progression on making videos. But... Hopefully I can get some videos up very, very soon. Hopefully I can start doing more Raw and Smackdown reviews. Uh, the reason why I can't really do them is because I'm at uni when they're on. I watched them at uni thanks to a good friend of mine and we uh and, and he connects it up and then we watch it at university uh before our class time before class time and yeah, and yeah so but I will be talking about something about Survivor Series uh one of my predictions now I know it's too early to make predictions for Survivor Series but it's not a full-on prediction like oh we're guessing who's gonna win here it's a specific report it's a report that i'm gonna be bringing up and it, and i could bring this to people's attention so be aware guys be aware i'm going to get that video up maybe well, today's sunday so maybe in a couple of hours time i'll make a video about that regarding survivor series so anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this video Comment down below on what you thought about the episode and did you enjoy this review. So anyway guys, hit that thumbs up, subscribe because I really would need, really do need some subscribers. It would definitely help out my channel. And also, have a great day guys.